Hey, hey, welcome to another episode of DYM Tech Tips. I'm Steve. This is Doug. In this episode, we're going to talk primarily about lighting and eye contact and the ways that you can avoid distractions in your Zoom call. The first thing that we're going to talk about is eye contact. Now, eye contact is super important, especially when we're disconnected from people. We really want to connect with people as if we were sitting across the table from them. Try to place your camera as close to eye level as possible. By placing the camera at eye level, you're neither talking down nor up to them. Second, we humans connect with others through the eyes, the eyes of the windows to the soul. Do that by placing your camera at a distance where you're not super far away or super close up that you can see the whites of an eye. And third, make sure as much as possible you're making eye contact with the camera. Now this isn't always possible because you actually do want to look at the student's eyes and that's going to be somewhere on your screen, somewhere down here. So what I like to do is take the window that I'm using and squish it up towards the top center, towards that webcam. So that way it looks like I'm looking at them. And let's talk lighting. Now, again, we're not in a studio. We don't have the best of lights, but what is important is that we try to light ourselves in a way that's going to A, not distract, and B, give focus and clarity to the person that's talking. The eye is naturally drawn to what is moving and what is the brightest. Try to light yourself to where you have a good even light. It's not too much of a shadow on one side of the face, but it's nice and even, and that you are probably brighter than your back. So try not to sit in front of a TV or a window because those are often way brighter than you and the camera can't compensate and you just look like a shadow. The third principle that we're gonna talk about is the stage. Now I know what you're thinking. I, I don't have a stage, I'm stuck at home. This is This is my living room. But you do have a stage and this is it. You can do whatever you want with this but try to keep it as distraction free as possible, just like you would in your youth room. Another cool trick that we have because we're in Zoom is virtual backgrounds. And I'm gonna show you how to use virtual backgrounds right now. If you click on this arrow next to stop video, you can choose a virtual background. And as you can see here, it comes preloaded with some, and I can choose maybe a, the Golden Gate Bridge. I can choose some nice funky grass. Maybe I'm out of this world. One thing that I like to do is add in my own image and I'm going to add an image of our church. And if I pull this up now, Hey guys, live from the youth room. This is, this is Steve and we're, we're going to get started today. And you can see it's not perfect, but that's kind of the fun of it. Now, anybody on the zoom call can do this and it can get a little bit distracting, but it is kind of fun to see what people come up with as their virtual backgrounds. Hey, that's it for this episode of DYM Tech Tips. If there's anything that you would like to learn about, please let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.